In our previous lesson, we have learned how to use a two-dimensional array in combination with the table sort function to load this top player's wall. In today's lesson, we're going to load this wall using an ordered data store. And just a quick review, you can refer back to our previous lesson for further details. In my workspace, I have a top player's wall which has a surface GUI that contains a bunch of text labels. So the P1 through P5, I'm going to use to store the player's names and they are located on the left hand column. PT1 through PT5 are going to be used to store the player's, player's scores and they are located on the right hand side column. My sign is the top player sign up here. Now to do an ordered data store, first thing you need to do is you need to publish your game to Roblox and then come back into your game and click on file, game settings, go to security and make sure you have enabled studio, studio access to API services turn on. And now let's go ahead and go to your server script service and add a script. Call it mapping array data to labels. In your script, just enter the following lines. The first line here is to get the data store service and the second line is to declare our ordered data store. We're using get ordered data store as opposed to get data store for the regular data store and this is the name of our ordered data store table if one already exists then it's just going to use the existing one otherwise it's going to create a new one under this name here we have declare a data dictionary that's going to use that's going to be used to to load our sample data and here we're using the in pair for loop to load our ordered data store. So you can see we're loading it using set async, which is exactly the same as the regular data store that we had in our previous lesson. And obviously the whole thing is wrapped in a P call. So we're checking to see if, if it's not successful, we're gonna send out a warning message. To retrieve our data from the data store, we're gonna use points dss colon get sorted async the first parameter here false means it's going to be in descending order and true is ascending order and the number five here is the number of entries per page for example here we have loaded eight different entries into the table so our first page is going to contain five entries that are in sorted order in descending order and the next page is going to contain three items next thing I want to do is I want to check the status of my P call to, to make sure that it return a success flag so again we're, we're wrapping a P call around this get sorted async statement because we want to make sure if something goes wrong it's not going to crash our game. But to get the current page, we're going to declare a local variable. Let's call it page. Set it equal to pages colon get current page. So page is now going to be a multi-dimensional array. It's going to be a two-dimensional array. We're going to use the four in i pairs loop to uh, to uh, iterate through the elements of page so for i entry in i pairs and our table name is page do now we want to declare a couple local variables to get us to these text labels let, let's start with the first one local 
um, call it board P for the point and that's gonna be equal to game dot workspace dot top players wall dot surface GUI and I want to do a way for child and my child is gonna be this P1 here so it's gonna be P but I do not want to hard code the one in there so I'm gonna concatenate it with the I same as we did in our previous lesson uh, the I not the one all right so that's my point and I'm gonna do the same thing for the I'm sorry that's the uh, the player that's the player's name and now I'm gonna do the same thing for the points so I'm gonna have board PT whoops PT equals to game dot workspace dot top players war dot surface GUI wait for child and in this case we're gonna start with whoops hang on we're gonna start with PT and we're concatenating that with I and next let's change the text of each of those text labels so let's start with the player's name we're gonna have board p dot text equals to and that's gonna equal to entry dot key and then board pt dot text is gonna equal to entry dot value let's play to test and here it is let's go to the wall legend R laser G let's take a look please legend R is the highest score that's correct laser G is the second highest score is correct okay so so far it looks correct with the names let's go to the the scores so we got 18,000 something all right and the next one is 9364 9364 is correct 287 is the last one casual gamer 287 287 casual gamer so that's the last one and there are three players that did not make it to on the board which are the new account the new and the semi noob all right everyone so that's how you use an ordered data store in roblox